Hello everybody, my name is Hank and today I'm going to talk about the uh, little ball head that I just ordered. It's uh, the Sirui K20X pounds, probably more like 55 pounds. So uh, we'll find out whether or not uh, that claim uh, is true or not. I'm going to mount it onto this um, tripod like that. You can see that it looks like there are two uh, two knobs for this one, but actually it is three. There's a little tensioning knob um, built in within the big knob here. This knob moves the ball, and the ball can move down to 90 degrees so that you can do um, portrait. I can loosen it a little bit, slide it right out, like that. Okay, I'm going to move it around so that you can see a 360 uh, degrees view of the, the Sirui. Uh, the panning is absolutely smooth and the tensioning is very good also. And I have um, camera here, a uh, Canon 5D Mark III with a Canon 400 uh, 5.6 lens kind of setup, which is not that light, not that heavy, 6 pounds. And this thing handle it with these. I mounted um, this giant setup here, same camera, different lens. This is a Canon 600mm um, f4 um, version 1 which is very heavy. It weighs 12 pounds and as you can see it's almost 3 foot long. Um, this setup here would be around 15 pounds. And as you can see, I have it mounted on the Sirui K20X. And as you can see that, that this thing, uh, static wise, can handle this thing without any problem whatsoever. But the real test is what happened when you tilt it, you know, under load and all of that. Will it do it? So we'll find out, okay? So uh, I keep basically the, the same tensions that I had for the smaller setup. Uh, we are not going to fuss with that. Okay, so now I'm going to release the, um, the, um, the knob. And then we'll try to tilt it. As you can see that, that the, the tension that I set for the small the thing doesn't really work with this because this is like way too heavy, okay? Now, so for example, if I want to shoot down like that, so now I'm going to try to lock it and see how well it works, okay? Okay, that locks. As you can see, that this lock is pretty good. It stays where it is. I, I don't think it moves at all very much. So that kind of works. Let's try tilting it some more. So I don't see how you would be shooting crook it like this, but um, just for the purpose of trying. There, you see that it kind of failed there. It flopped down. Now, of course, I didn't tighten it 100%. I don't like doing that to my equipment. I don't want to tighten it to the maximum. I just did now with this and um, as you can see that, that once you tighten it to the maximum it kind of holds. So, so this uh, ball head in a bind you can use it with a heavy setup but remember this setup is only 15 pounds okay the, 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 the load the rated load is 55 in theory, this thing should be able to handle it just fine, but as you can see, that unless I really lock it down hard, 
I mean, you do that too much, this thing is going to probably end up breaking on you. So I would feel pretty uncomfortable using this ball head, you know, with a big setup like this, even though it's only 15 pounds. So the more practical, my guess would be, in a bind you can do it, but um, for everyday use, I recommend maybe 10 pounds or less you know, um, under the real load. But as you can see, it actually works okay. Okay, I can tilt it up and see, lock it. And um, I guess it works. 20X is a very strong ball head, very capable. And in a bind, you can use it with this setup. I, I don't think I have a problem. And I am actually can probably shoot birds with it, I wouldn't do it. I would use a gimbal setup, which I have, um, versus something like this. But as you can see, you can do it. It's um, totally usable. Um, even though it sometimes gives out on you, you kind of have to tighten it quite a bit. But it is usable. Okay, with that, um, I'm going to sign off. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.